This is DNA. This is DNA. This is RNA. On the DNA, the sugar is a deoxyribose. It's a five carb. It's a five carbon sugar, and the sugars are held together here by phosphate groups. Now, with DNA, you've got T and its complement A, G and its complement C. With RNA, you have U and its complement A, G and its complement C. So the difference between DNA and RNA outside of the sugars is also T for DNA, U for RNA. And you know the difference in the, the way the fitting is. It's a rounded fitting for DNA and it's a funky fitting for the RNA with a U. The sugar and RNA is just ribose, plain old ribose. As we're in DNA, it's deoxyribose. A couple ways to remember the pieces. The T and the U look like transformers, except for the T has the round fitting and the U has the funky fitting. The A, which is the complement to T, is big and it has two humpies. The G is also big and it has three humpies, and its complement, of course, is C. The reason you know this is RNA, besides the difference in sugar, is it's got a transfer RNA at the bottom. You know that this is transfer RNA because it has an amino acid on it. If this is a transfer RNA, then what's connected to it has to be a messenger, messenger RNA, message RNA. So transfer RNA, messenger RNA, ribose, phosphate, G, C, A, U, G, C. DNA, deoxyribose, phosphate, C, G, A, T, C, G.